Greetings and salutations viewers, to Zai Cybertron X coming to you with a new Transformers video review. Um, a couple of months ago I did a live stream on, stream on YouTube and I reviewed uh, uh, Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime and Fall of Cybertron Jazz. Um, and I did those live reviews and um, those were the last two Fall of Cybertron figures I had until the other day when I found and this is actually the only figure I found at Walmart as when I mean only figure I mean only transformer they had on the shelf not there was a bunch of them but it was only one box Fall of Cybertron Ultra Magnus yeah, he's the same mold as Optimus Prime as you can see here I just like leaving the smokestacks thing up there it gives him a little bit more character same transformation and everything, but the what I what I said on that live show that this paint job looks a lot better on this mold than it does on this figure, than Optimus Prime. It it gives a whole new, it it just fits the Ultra Magnus character perfectly, in my opinion. Um, one drawback on mine, I don't know if, if others have the same problem. Uh, the ball joint here in the waist is like really loose so I'm going to take them apart and put some super glue on the waist on the ball joint let it dry and put it back together maybe I'll tighten it up a little bit um, you know give it a little bit more stability uh, so it's the same transformation and everything um, another thing I dislike is sometimes these will pop off now let me go ahead and transform him into his vehicle mode for you, uh, in case anybody missed that. Uh, what I like to do is start with the hands and rotate them this way, to where the fists are facing out. Then go ahead and uh, rotate to where it looks like this. I like going ahead and doing that. All right, the legs. Here at the feet, go ahead and fold them all the way to the front, like so. And folding them back and pegging them in together. As you can see how, what I mean by loose, it, it just wants to, this top part just really wants to bend. Alright, back here, you want to pop that loose, fold it down, and when you do, the joint of the arms all fold in. There's these little tabs that will tab into these slots on the side. Go ahead and rotate the front bumper out like so. And tab it in. This one's kind of hard to do upside down and backwards. And tab it under like so. And then back here just fold this up and that will tab in to the back. I'm saying this as it wants to not do it. I just love it when they don't want to work for you. There we go. And there is Ultra Magnus. Like I said, that looks better as Ultra Magnus. You can actually see where you could, if they wanted to make a car carrier thing, they could. Now, there's a little bonus I found messing around with his weapons. He comes with the exact same gun Optimus Prime does, but he comes with a sword. Now on the instructions, it shows putting the sword together. But what I found last night was something pretty interesting with the sword. I don't know if anybody else has done this. You can take the sword apart into three pieces. You have this piece, the handle, and the blade. Now what's neat about the handle is the unique shape it has, like this curvature here. It is the exact same shape as this, so that will fit in and snap together like so. Now here's where it gets cool. Let me put the rest of the sword back together and show you that there's like these little grooves and openings on the sword found out what those are for. 
you take the front of the blade here and the gun and there's these little tabs and lines here that fit up just perfectly on the gun it snaps in I'm doing it on the right side yes I'm doing it on the right side it will snap in Now, I did this for me last night. Oh, on the wrong side. It will snap in. Let me show you again. That these little grooves right here and the front of the gun here, they'll snap in like that. Perfectly lined up. Now, the other gun here, the other barrel, the other side, will snap in like so. So you now can combine the sword and the gun to create what I like to call the Magnus gun or the Magnus sword that you can actually mount on the side of Ultra Magnus like so or and I'll show with Optimus Prime since I left him transformed. You can hold as a weapon which really increases the length of the blade and the weapon now another good thing is how this piece here when you slide it all the way down it fits into this groove of the arm so you can still get a little bit of posability with both the for Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus if you whoever you want to hold it to me that was a really cool thing and it was not on the instructions so I was just always looking at this and like does this is fit together so yes it does and it makes a really cool looking weapon in my opinion um, and they cannot hold it as a gun this way but they can hold it like that which gives it like a blade gun or a, a gun blade look which is kind of cool you know little things that you can find out but just messing with a figure so there you go. Do I recommend getting Ultra Magnus? Yes. I actually prefer him over Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime for two reasons. The sculpt of the body fits Ultra Magnus. It has a beefier, more robust um, look to it. Um, plus, on this, the color scheme of the red, the, the blue and the red and the white looks a whole lot better it, it just does it, it the colors really snap for prime I really don't like it I mean what they did is one of the differences things here you see how the outline of the wheels are silver and the inside is silver on this kind of difference but for some strange reason this works for Ultra Magnus so I actually recommend you getting him if you have uh, War for Cybertron Optimus Prime, this goes great with him. This has been Cybertron Axe. Uh, later.